How are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about iOS 17 Beta 2 and the follow-up of iOS 17 Beta 1. My name is Jay and you are watching Tech Hype. Let's get right into today's video. First of all, let's kick things off and talk about iOS 17 Beta 2. When is the Beta 2 coming out and uh, is Apple on a one week cycle or on a two week cycle? Let's talk all of it in this video. My name is Jay and you are watching Tech Hype. That would mean a lot to me if you guys can hit that subscribe button because we are so close to 10k and I want to get to 10k as soon as we can. Now that you have done that, let's get right into today's video. All right, so iOS 17 beta 1 was released a week ago. Exactly today, it is Monday and last Monday, Apple released iOS 17 beta 1 and it was WWDC. It's already been a week since we said goodbye to WWDC. iOS 17, I have made a lot of videos on it. You guys loved it. I will link it below the like button. I have made a lot of videos on it and you guys have showed a really great response on it. So thank you so much for it. iOS 17 beta 2 released it. Let's start with that. So iOS 17 beta 2, if history is an indication, we may see the beta 2 of iOS 17 next week there is a possibility that we may see it this week only but that is very low because if history is an indication we have seen apple releasing the betas on a two-week cycle like they work on it a lot and ios 17 already seems an update which is not focused on new features and changes but it is more focused on refinement and bug fixes ios 17 is a really minor update and that means that ios 17 will come out next week today the day i'm posting this video and recording this video is monday it is 12th of june today so what i think is that apple may release the beta 2 of ios 17 next week next week or probably if we are lucky today or tomorrow the 13th of june is the date that i predict we may see ios 17 beta 2 and if not on 13th of june or not today then it is 100 percent sure that we will see the beta 2 of ios 17 next week now let's talk about ios 17 and what all issues i have been getting on this update because there are a lot of issues i will also talk about things that you guys told me on my twitter at the rate tech hype you can dm me i keep on talking to you guys over on my twitter and in the comment section as well but twitter is a better place the number one issue that i am facing on the ios 17 is battery life the battery life is just pathetic of course i'm not complaining thinking about that this is an update which should have good battery life of course number one it is a beta and betas are notorious to have bad battery life so i did not have high expectation regardless but thinking that this update did not brought anything big and uh, come on ios 17 is one of the smallest update we have seen in years even after this update being so small and minor with very small changes you can clearly see that battery life is so freaking bad even if they had uh, like plenty of big changes then also i don't expect apple to give us this bad battery life on the latest beta of ios 17 and especially now that developer account is free for everyone which means more and more people will be exposed and able to install the ios 17 beta that clearly means that the battery life should not be this bad i'm not complaining all right see i'm not complaining but a lot of you guys do have a lot of complaints regarding battery life then the performance the performance is it's all right it's i won't say it is the best or it is really really bad it is somewhere in the middle it is all right but i do see a lot of room for improvement in the performance department as well the performance box down a lot when it overheats so i would say that there is something going on on ios 17 because the ios 17 does overheat 
all of my devices first of all i thought it is just my iphone 12 because my iphone 12 battery is a bit too weak it is at 75 percent battery health so i thought it is just my iphone 12 then i installed it on my iphone 13 and it is the same case on the 13 as well ios 17 just heats your device like crazy overall ios 17 is pretty decent update i won't say it is really really good or really really bad it is somewhere in the middle so it is pretty decent update but i do see a lot of room for improvement and i don't know it is my sixth sense or what but uh, being in this ios community for years and seeing apple doing all this stuff i have a little bit of suspicion that apple does have something big planned for us and we may see something really really big coming to ios 17 before it comes out to public Yes, something big is in the pipeline. This is what I think. Let me know down in comments below what are your thoughts on it. Well, that's pretty much it for today's quick little episode. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. This is me, Jay, aka Tech Hyped, and I am signing off. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos like these.